New efforts in the search for a missing child in Two Rivers tops tonight's Fox 11 News at 5. Dozens of volunteers searching a new area with hopes of finding any information leading to the child's safe return. Balance News and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 5. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. Nearly seven weeks after three-year-old Elijah Vu was reported missing, volunteers continue to gather for large-scale searches. It's been more than 10 days since Two Rivers Police have released any update on its investigation into that boy's disappearance. Today, volunteer searchers tackled the Avery Salvage Yard, which is private property just off of Highway 147 near Michicot. Organizers say the Avery family granted permission for the search and there is nothing to connect Vu's disappearance to the property. Avery's auto gained notoriety in 2005 when human remains belonging to missing freelance photographer Teresa Halbach were found there along with her SUV. Stephen Avery and his then teenage nephew Brendan Dassey were convicted for Halbach's murder. Fox 11's Emily Matesic spoke with volunteers about today's effort to find Elijah Vu. After a request was made on social media over the weekend for 100 volunteers to help search a very large area on Monday for Elijah Vu, volunteers were directed to the Avery Auto Salvage Yard property. I am a little scared. Why? Well, because of the Avery <laughs> property. I don't know why, just because of what happened there many years ago, and it just still gives you like the weebie-jeebies. But that didn't stop volunteers like Julie Nelson from wanting to help. There's always a hope little Elijah is alive. But if it's not, he needs to, we need to um, get him justice. A um, little guy that went too long without a voice. And uh, he cried way too long without anybody hearing him. So I am here for him. There was nothing specific that brought searchers to this property. Organizers tell us they simply asked the property owner for permission. And when it was granted, they assembled the biggest team they possibly could to look for Elijah. The media wasn't invited onto the property like volunteers, but Fox 11 captured one group of people searching the fields and tree lines around the property, while other volunteers tackled the salvage yard area. What, yeah, what I noticed, a lot of debris around, so you kind of have to look at everything. You can't just, I mean, there's car parts and there's whatever can be in a car, there's, it's in there. And so you gotta take your time and kind of sift through stuff. Searchers somewhat overwhelmed by the scope of their efforts. It's so thick back there, you just kind of dove in where you could and uh, and got down. There's a huge brush pile, like a couple stories high down there and kind of searched around there. And there, uh, yeah, it's real rugged. The search didn't appear to uncover any new evidence in the search for the missing toddler. But those who looked say that won't deter them from continuing to look for answers. You gotta keep trying. You just gotta keep, you can't give up. In the town of Gibson, Emily Matesic, Fox 11 News. And we'd like to reiterate that today's search for Vu was in no way connected to the Avery's. Search crews were given permission by the property owner to search that area, as they have done in dozens of other areas. Those who want to help search for Vu tomorrow are asked to meet at Deja Vu in Manitowoc. There are two times at 9.30 a.m. and 1 o'clock p.m. when volunteers will get assignments. And as the search for Elijah continues, police continue to tell us that they continue to follow up on all of the tips and leads from the public. Anyone who may have seen Elijah or knows where he is is urged to call the number on your screen. That tip line is 844-267-6648. This is the first time you guys have been out. What brought you out today to, to help in the search? I saw it when I woke up on their news feed and uh, we always we talked about it earlier but we we didn't we were working and today we had off so we decided we wanted to try and help so you came out and walk me through kind of what you guys did out there yeah um basically they had us go to the uh, south end of the avery property and then um, kind of spread out and we worked our way north and that was the plan and um i don't think it was yeah. anything happened with that but uh, this morning, um, Andrea woke up and I could tell something was wrong and um, she mentioned doing this, trying to go come down and help. We got four boys and she said if it was one of our babies, she, she, and then she broke down and so uh, that's why we're down here, just to see if we can help. So.
Yeah, I mean, what's it like out there as you're searching? I mean, you know, walking around and looking. I mean, yeah. you probably hope to find something, but also hope not to find exactly. something, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. What I notice is a lot of debris around, so you kind of have to look at everything. You can't just. I mean, there's car parts and there's whatever is, can be in a car. There's it's in there, and so you got to take your time and kind of sift through stuff. So. And it was a little rugged. It's an old quarry back there, so it's a lot of ups and downs. And, and just, I mean, I know when you guys kind of left here, it was almost like a grid. People kind of in a line, but then once you get into there, is it sort of, I want to say a free-for-all, but more? More, yeah, more or less. There was not a lot of direction. But... Oh, right, yeah. We're, and it's so thick back there, you just kind of dove in where you could and uh and got down there's a huge brush pile like a couple stories high down there and kind of searched around there and there uh yeah it's real rugged and so people were sneaking in where they could and then and then there's deer trails so those were helpful and a lot of vehicles will look through for people looking through vehicles yeah. and yep. going Every one of them. Yeah. yeah and we just want to make sure the family knew that we cared I mean, I know this property sort of became notorious because of what happened, you know, almost 20 years ago. The one woman said she was a little nervous to kind of come out here. When you found out where you were searching, did anything kind of go through your mind? Or? It, I just sad about the reporter that was murdered out here. But other than that, I, yeah. I, yeah, I felt it kind of ironic, though. It's like, we're, we're here now, and there was, there was something to it, you know. Some the photographer feeling. that was killed, not reporter. Yeah. Yeah. But they, I mean, in the, in the, the, the people who organized the search, they said they, I mean, there was really no connection. They just wanted to get people out here. They didn't really tell you anything, mm -hmm. just that. No, mm -hmm. no, the, right. no connection that we heard of. No. Yeah. Just a big piece of property that they wanted to search because lots of private places someone could hide something. If... Mm. Right. Yeah. No connection was told to us at all. Mm. No. Is it done for the day? And will you participate in other searches moving forward? Do you think, or I, I think so. If yeah, we're, yeah. If, need if be, we can, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They need more searchers, sure. Anything else you think is important that I didn't ask about? Mm, no, mm -hmm. just just that we feel horrible about yeah. this and and hope they find them as soon as possible. Yeah.